cut myself off. Dean did end up getting the car. So basically we left dinner. Dinner was so good. We went to Maroma for my actual birthday and it was amazing. Pujol, not impressed. Maroma, incredible. They, the snacks, again, were so great. They had these baby artichokes with Levna. Amazing. All the dishes were great. And so after Maroma, we sat there. We ran into a couple that we met in LA which is weird, and then we met a woman sitting next to us who's a bit of a nomad and has like lived all over the world from Indiana, so we talked to her for like three hours, not realizing that the meter in our car had gotten, had timed out, so we get back to the car, there's a boot on it. We're trying to figure out what to do. We find a police officer who's super friendly and helpful. I think it was like, maybe it's 8 p.m. if they stopped working, it's eight or nine, and we had gotten there like right, as they stopped working. So he's saying that he could help us if we just paid him more money, which sounds sketchy, but because they're not working, the police officers who take the boot off weren't technically working. Do you think he was doing us a favor? But then he took our papers and we needed the papers to pay at 7-Eleven because you have to pay at 7-Eleven. It was just like a mess and us running around the town trying to find the police officer, finally found him, but he wanted us to pay $150 versus just wait until the next morning and we've just paid 40. So we ended up after, I think we were like running around for two hours, like trying to find an ATM, trying to find police officers, finally got our papers back, trying to find a printer because we lost our papers. It was craziness, but we went back to the hotel, probably got in at like midnight, 12.30, and then we woke up the next morning, walked over there, because I wasn't expecting the traffic to be so crazy in Mexico City. It's like New York and LA times 10. Really hard to get around, much easier to walk, and lesson learned for next time. And then we had to change our flight. Our flight was originally at 10 a.m. We moved it to 2 p.m. and got to see Montenegro last night, and it is so beautiful. Dean's just always gotta steal my shots, you know? just waiting for Dean to get ready and we're gonna go play tennis then get breakfast. Yeah, Mexico City was great. Next time I want to stay in Roma or Condesa. Roma was a really cute town that Maroma was in. Maroma and Roma. And I would love to go back there and see more of the city. Because we went to uh, Grutos Tolentango, our trip was cut a little bit short and it was cut even more short because of the Hamptons. So we didn't get as much time there as we wanted and about to go back and explore more because I feel like we really didn't get to see much at all. But now we're here, we're here for two more nights. And then we head back to Alistair, back to Vegas. And today we were supposed to actually wake up at 6 a.m. and take a boat and get surfing lessons. Probably can't tell now, but the weather has been super bad, so they closed the port and we weren't able to go, which is good because it would have been such an early wake-up call. But I also, surfing lessons are really fun. That's a bummer, but we uh, have a cooking class on the beach at 1 p.m. today. Two straight hours of tennis. I like my face is beet red. It was so much fun. I got the shower running. I have to hop in the shower quickly because we had a cooking class. But it was oh, like my skills have gotten so much better from the Hamptons. And then once I have my lessons next week, I feel like I'm gonna be so much better. So really fun. And it's also so fun when you can play. And Dean and I had some really good rallies back and forth. He's gotten so much better too. And I'm like, how? I'm the one investing in lessons, and somehow you're just magically getting better, but it was really fun. Oh my gosh, it is so hot outside. I look ready to me. I need a shower before I can even speak to you guys like this. Drenched in sweat from tennis again. I'll be back. Still look like a tomato, but uh, I'm about to head to our cooking pot. back to normal, no longer looking like a tomato. We had a wonderful cooking class. Learned how to make lobster, it's the first. Learned how to better make fish. He also made this, it was almost like a ceviche on top of the fish, so it was raw salmon flown in from Australia, it was good. 
with little baby corn. I took photos because I knew I'd forget that I'm going to take all this back to Vegas and try and recreate it. Also, we made homemade salsa. I've never attempted to make salsa before, so that was really interesting. He threw all the tomatoes, the habanero on the grill, and then we mashed it up with a um, grinder. There's a specific word for it. So I'm also gonna be purchasing one of those, perfecting my skills. I told Dean when we went to Italy and we took the cooking class, I was like taking photos and videos the whole time and forgot everything. So this time I made sure to write things down, got his email, I'm gonna email for recipes and I like feel like I retained the information a little bit better. And one more thing to add while I continue my lazy, relaxing day. I really appreciate this place because they have a lot of vegan and vegetarian, pescatarian options. We talked to the chef today who runs all of the restaurants here, and he was telling us that meat production is such a problem in the world, and people are eating meat nearly every day of the week. So he was like, we don't really offer many meat options here because of that. and. The meat we do offer it is you know very sustainable including the fish that they choose like they're very picky with what they choose to bring here but things are fresh they have a garden here and i just thought that was really really great they also have offered vegan chorizo like a lot of great vegan options that i was really excited about because one of my issues when traveling abroad is they're not super accommodating to vegetarians vegans pescatarians um and it's just really cool to see that so it's been great been able to try a lot of great food and i always get this question are you a vegan i'm not a vegan but i try to eat vegan like five to six times a week and then i'll have fish one to two times a week so this place is great it's our final night of the trip we're about to go get some pizza maybe have some drinks after some beer this is the only place i drink beer is in mexico and soak up our last few moments here Caleb, let's go. Time to go. Hilarious. Caleb, enough TikTok. Let's go. It's not even TikTok. We finally made it home to Vegas. We had quite the adventure getting back here. I'm exhausted. We woke up at like 4.30 this morning, caught a flight from LA to Vegas. We thought we were flying direct to Vegas and that we were flying direct to LA. And there were no flights because we like, I don't know why we thought that's what was scheduled. So yeah, and Alistair was in Vegas, so we had to get back to Vegas, and uh, I'm just so tired. We like tried so hard to find a flight from LA to Vegas, but we landed at six, and with all the delays going on, flights usually are like under $100 from LA to Vegas, and this time, the cheapest one was 300, which wasn't terrible, but it kind of was. It's like more expensive, like it's a 30 minute flight. Yeah, we didn't do that. And then the other flights were 1200 to $1,400, like how? So we decided to spend the night in LA and then we left at 4 a.m. this morning and we just made it. And I came home to a disaster. I've been cleaning up since the second I got home, but it's all, it's a good disaster because Dean is replacing our carpets. He surprised me and he did the hardwood floor, so I'll show you. It's messy, but I'll show you. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our Mexico adventures, and I cannot wait for next week's video. I had one of the best weekends of my life last weekend at Channel Islands. It's an incredible national park. It's in Ventura, so an hour outside of LA and then an hour boat ride to the islands. So much fun, so some camping content for you soon. And Dean and I are packing up right now and about to head to the grocery to get all of our meals prepped because we are leaving for another camping trip tomorrow with my grandparents. They finally got their van, so it is their very first camping trip in the van. I still haven't seen it. I can't wait to see it. And it's gonna be such a good weekend. We got the dogs coming. And honestly, every time I go camping, I get the bug. I think I said this last time, but our camping crew, we had 15, there were 16 of us. We had so much fun. And after we left, we started booking campsites for October and November because we're all just, we're on a camping high. So I hope the rest of the summer is filled with lots of camping trips because they're truly the best. I'm getting ahead of myself though, and that is next week's video, but just wanna get you excited. Make sure you subscribe and don't miss next week's video because it's gonna be a fun one. Oh, and after that, just to tease some more, we'll be in Hawaii and Tahoe, lots to come. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next week.